very soggy forecast and this really isn't something I've had to say much so far this spring and now early summer. Tomorrow scattered showers doesn't amount to a lot of rain, but they'll be noticeable. Significant rain is going to start to push into the area here really on Friday and it may hold on pretty much for the entire weekend. So here's Fox 17 future track. This is seven o'clock tomorrow morning. There's that system over Iowa weak little disturbance that's going to push through. That gives us the showers on Wednesday. It clears out tomorrow night. I think most of Thursday is dry, but there's our front back to the west. It's basically going to push toward us slowly and then stall out overhead, and that's why we see the extra rainfall. So this is Thursday at 5 o'clock, perhaps some weakening showers and thunderstorms. I think most of Thursday night will be dry, but as we go into Friday and certainly Saturday and even Saturday night, there'll be waves of low pressure that ride along this stalled out front, and those each can provide the area with heavy rainfall. So temperatures tomorrow with additional clouds and some scattered showers are going to top out in the 70s. The other thing I'm going to make mention of is this could be a very rough period of time out on Lake Michigan starting tomorrow and perhaps continuing as we head into most of the upcoming weekend. So tomorrow we're going to be talking about beach hazard statements in place. Waves running four to six feet with increasing wind. Here's what the extended forecast looks like. I added the lightning bolt on Thursday because we'll watch those scattered showers and thunderstorms as they go into the afternoon and evening. This is likely around and after the dinner hour. Not everybody's going to see what weather on Thursday, but as we go through Friday, Saturday and Sunday again. That's the soggy period I was talking about with temperatures into the middle 70s. Perhaps we get a little bit of a break in the action by Monday.